hey, what's up? It's Andrew from Offshore Audio here. We're going to take a look at connecting up your laptop and playing back files through the mixer, but this time we're going to use Dante. Now, Dante is incredibly prevalent in the audio industry right now. Uh, it's, it's an absolute must-have skill. But in this video, we're just going to look at using Dante virtual sound cards on our laptop and using that to connect to a mixer and then send multi-track audio via Dante. So let's dive in. So we're going to get started here by connecting this Yamaha mixer, QL1, to our laptop using Dante. So the process is pretty similar to the previous video that we did on connecting the M32. We're just using a cable, in this case it's a CAT6 cable, to connect to the laptop from the mixer. Simple as that. CAT6 cable, plug into the Dante primary slot. Dante inputs always have primary and secondary. And then the other side of this cable is just plugged into the Ethernet port on my laptop. So let's go take a look over there and see what we need to do. Okay, so you can see that we've got our CAT6 cable plugged in here. And what we need to do is we need to download Dante Virtual Sound Card. So we just type in Dante Virtual Sound Card. It'll be the first hit. The website is audinate.com. They make Dante and other Dante software. Um, and then under software, you can just find right over here on the right, get Dante Virtual Sound Card. You can get a temporary license, a permanent license, um, but you can also get a 14 day free trial. So obviously I've already got a license, so I'm not going to go through all this process again, but it's just like a driver. You download it, enter your license key in, and then you can run the software on your computer. And it allows you to use your computer as a Dante audio device. So you can send audio in and out of your computer via Dante, which normally you cannot do. So we just open up Dante Virtual Sound Card, and there's a few things we need to configure. I'm setting the audio interface, that it's the way that it's going to be talking to the computer, to ASIO, because I'm using a Windows machine. I believe on Mac it's uh, Core Audio. You can select how many audio channels you want to send. So that's 16 in and 16 out. You can go all the way up to, all the way up to 64. I'm just going to select eight because it's just a demo and I'm running a lot of stuff on the computer already. So that's fine. And then Ethernet is how we're sending the uh, data. When you first open it up, you'll need to enter your license key in here. In here. After that, we just click start. And now we need to configure our DAW for sending the tracks to Dante, which will then pass them on to the mixer. So I'm going to use Reaper because Pro Tools hates me. So I've just got some tracks here in Reaper that I'm going to send out. But first of all, just like we did in the M32 video with USB, we need to make sure that our DAW is using the correct audio interface. So I'm just going to go to Preferences in Reaper, Control P. I select ASIO, because if you remember, that's how I set up my Dante Virtual Sound Card. Here, ASIO driver, Dante Virtual Sound Card 64. And in Reaper, I need to enable the first and last inputs. I'm going to use all eight. And I also need to select the first and last outputs. So I'll be using all eight. So I need to select the output range, which is from the first TX1, transmit one, to TX8, transmit eight. So that's fine. It'll be the same in whatever DAW you're using, whether it's Logic or Pro Tools or anything else. It's the same. You need to know how to set your audio engine. This is it. I'm setting it to ASIO because that's what I'm running my Dante virtual sound card on. Moving on. Just like in the previous video, we just need to root everything out the way. So in Reaper, you can open up the routing window by doing Alt R. I can just select the tracks that I'm sending out. So I've got overheads, bass, and guitar. I'm just going to send them. And then I just root over here and make sure that they're coming out Dante RX1, which they are, Dante RX2, Dante RX3, and Dante RX4. And you can do that for as many tracks as you have. You know, you could send all 64 out to your mixer if you wanted to. I'm just going to use four to demonstrate this. Again, your mileage may vary. This isn't how you root things in Pro Tools. I'm not sure about Logic, but um, you just need to root the tracks that you're sending to your mixer 
to the correct Dante output. And before that, you need to have set up Dante as the playback engine. So everything is set up. And when I play my tracks, then they should be sent to my mixer. But I need to check that my mixer is configured properly. So let's have a look. So let's configure this console to receive sound from our laptop via Dante. So this is Yamaha QL console. They come with Dante cards built in. So what we need to do is we need to mount the Dante device, right? So what we do is we go over to IO device. And we look here, we see our Dante patch is what we're on here. And you see the devices. These are just preloaded into the mixer from the beginning. So we need to add our laptop as a Dante virtual sound card device. So we just touch Dante setup. And in Dante setup, down here, we can go to device mount. And then we just touch on the empty slot. And you'll see here, there is a little line here that says online and then there's offline. And we can add online because we've connected our laptop to this mixer. Do you see here a laptop with this code DVS Dante virtual sound card? So we can click OK and it's mounted to the device. And now it says IO device 3 connected. So now I know that my laptop is recognized by the Dante setup in this mixer. So let's get out of this. And before we head to our channels, there's one more step that we need to do. We go back to our IO device menu and you'll see here there is Dante input patch. The best way I can think of describing this is the console has a number of Dante inputs that feed into channels. And what you need to do is you need to tell the console where to populate those inputs from, where to get the sound from. So our computer has sent it to the Dante card, but the console has not yet collected it from the Dante card. So we need to collect it from the Dante card and then we need to tell the channels to find the sound from the Dante card. Strange, that's how it works. So we go to Dante input patch. Now as default, these consoles route their Dante 1 to 5 to, or 1 to 32 to the first Dante input device. It's a digital stage box. So we need to go to Dante input patch and we need to redo this for the channels that we want to use. We don't want to fill our Dante card with inputs from a stage box. We want to fill our Dante card with inputs from our computer, our PC or our Mac, from our Dante virtual sound card. So we can just touch here. And then on this menu on the side here, you'll see that Dante N1, so that's this console's concept of what Dante is, is collecting that from the real box, which was the digital stage box. But what we want to do is we want to go to number three. If you remember, we set up number three. You can touch that or use this encoder. And we'll click Dante Virtual Sound Card, DVS. And remember I set up eight channels on the mixer, on the Dante Virtual Sound Card. Here they are. And you can see up here, Y001 to Dante 1. That is the stage box currently going into the console's idea of Dante 1. So we're going to change that to our laptop. And now you see laptop 1 goes into Dante 1. So we just need to go up through our Dante inputs and select the laptop for the channels that we want to use. You just have to do this for as many channels as you're using. If that's 64, you're going to have a long job. So that's me sent. The console is populating its Dante group from the laptop. Okay, so Dante1234 on this console are filled with sound from Dante1234 on the laptop, which is the DAW. 
So let's close that and let's look at our channels. We need to tell our channels to get sound from Dante1234. Press our home button here. You can do that on any channel you like by touching up on this input section here where it says input to. You touch that and then you can select it. But this console automatically populates tr uh, channels 17 to 32 with Dante inputs. So you can see here that channel 17, 18, 19, up here I've got channel 17 selected and you see laptop 001. If it wasn't that, I'll show you on this first layer again. We select the channel that we want to put Dante sound into and then where it says input up here, we can scroll down and you see Dante 1 to 32 here. That's telling the, the fader now, the console channel, to get its sound from the Dante slot on the console, if that makes sense. So the Dante slot on the console has been told to get its sound from Dante Virtual Sound Card on the laptop. And now the channel, which you need to think of as a separate entity, is getting its sound from Dante 1 in the console. So I'll just press play over here and you start to see the tracks coming in. And as I bring them up, that's my overheads, my bass, and guitar. So I hope that one was really helpful to you. Uh, let me know if you would like to see more stuff about Dante. Uh, I'll do another follow-up video about sending the audio back, recording from Dante, and I'll maybe do one in the future about using uh, Dante controller for more advanced sort of routing capabilities. But let me know if that's something that you want to see. Um, if you could like the video, if you helped it, that really helped me out. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more of this kind of content and be updated when I'm posting videos. I also have a workshop that you can take. You can get the first module entirely for free. It helps you understand everything that's on the stage in the first module, the free one. And then the workshop, of course, dives into every single bit of running your first gig. But for now, that's all from me and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.